I was so much liking this film until the end. Do we have another biryani disaster with us? Let's find out. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and today we'll be talking about the latest Malayalam film Thangkam, directed by Sahid Arafat, written by Sham Pushkaran. It is produced by the famous trio Fahad, Dilesh Bhutan and Sham Pushkaran. And if I'm not wrong, Fahad was supposed to do this film. Let me know that in the comments. And also, how's the new look? Now, I knew nothing going into the film, what it's about. I had no idea. I didn't even see the trailer. The only thing I had seen was the posters, just like that. And from that, you know, it feels like a wholesome film, in a sense. I don't know. And even the way the film begins, it gives you that vibe. But it's definitely not that. Now, me calling this film a biryani disaster, if you are following the channel for a long time, or you have seen the Unda review, you would know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know, let me just explain it briefly. Just imagine you are having beautiful biryani. And if you are a foodie like me, I try to save the best part for the last bite. And when you reach that last bite, you want to savor all the flavors. You want it to be the best. And the moment you put it in your mouth and bite, and suddenly a long or a lychee comes in, which just ruins the whole thing and the experience. That's what I call a biryani disaster. And in terms of films, it happens when a film is amazing throughout, but just at the end of it, it gets ruined because the experience is ruined because of certain things. Now that happened for this film also. But before coming to that, let's talk about what I liked in it. And before moving on, if you have seen the film, then only continue watching because there'll be spoilers ahead. Now I loved how the film created tension by withholding the information from us as audience. It is very much a linear film, but as we are watching the film, not everything is shown to us what has conspired and it's revealed later in the film. So in a sense, it does become non-linear. But by doing so, the film creates a lot of tension, a lot of suspense. You are hooked into the story, what's gonna happen next. And the music complements this very well. It is suspenseful, it is creepy. Because when the film starts, you don't know what to really feel. And then suddenly this music comes in. And now there are butterflies in my stomach because I'm getting a feeling that something is wrong. And that spooks you because you don't know what's gonna happen. The film feels very real, it's very ground. It, the performances are very realistic. The other thing that I really liked was how they kept all the characters realistic. They were talking in the language that they were supposed to because this film takes place in multiple states in India and they all speak different language. And I like the subtitles for showing that he's talking in broken Tamil. And you know, to even get an actor from that language, you know, getting Girish Kulkarni as an inspector from Maharashtra Police. And I was so happy to see him in a Malayalam film. And of course, he was amazing. You know, from the start, the film is very successful in making us feel for these characters, which is very, very important. Because you need to feel for the character. So when the twist happens, you feel sad for them. You feel like, why did this happen to these people? How did it happen? What is going on? As audience, you want to find the truth, just like the characters in the story. From there, it becomes a really thrilling police procedural. I definitely enjoyed it. It keeps you hooked. You know, you keep guessing, is there a foul play? And there are layers and layers which are unveiled one by one. And in that, there's a mix of interstate. So there's a language barrier added. And because that was so organic, it gave another flavor to the narrative. You know all the process and politics in play. There is the underlying discrimination people face when they are in different states. You know, all of it was going so good to the climax. And then happened the biryani disaster. Finally, we reach a place in the investigation where we just have to find one person who is key to everything, who can solve this case. And that is Abbas. And I love the way they find Abbas, which leads them to a movie theater where a Tamil film Dawn is playing. And when Abbas is revealed and what follows is what I didn't like at all. The film was so grounded and realistic till that point. And suddenly it became something else altogether. It felt like a commercial film. The way the action was done, not good at all. It felt so weird and clunky. Maybe that was the idea, but the execution was not good. It felt like they are acting, they are trying to push each other. It felt like, you know, they are trying to make this big climax moment, but it just fell flat. And then comes the hero moment, where Biju Menon comes in styles, put up his mundu and beats the crap out of him. I literally felt I'm watching Ayapan Koshin. The universe is colliding, but no, that wasn't the case. And that just ruined the film for me. I was literally like, why would you ruin this? Why? You know what? Let's break it down. Let's see what what they were trying to do there. Before that scene, it was established they are going to find a pass. And the police had also put allegations on Muthu, played by Vijay Menon. And now when they are trying to catch a pass, they need assistance. So they ask from him. But first he refuses and then he comes to their aid. So maybe the film is trying to give him a hero moment to come back. But does that match the narrative of the film? No. Okay, my second theory is that, you know, it all happened in a theater where a commercial film was playing. So maybe because it was happening there, they tried to make it, you know, look commercial. Maybe. But that doesn't work unless someone is narrating the story and the person hearing it is imagining it. So maybe they are imagining that sequence like that. But that's also not true. 
both my theories have failed if you have one let me know in the comments see that sequence stood out as a sore thumb to me and you know ruined everything the film was building up till that point it suddenly takes you out oh you are watching a film these are just people acting you want the audience to be immersed which was broken at that point and you know valid question is who cares man it's their story their film they can do whatever they want yes they can they did that but as a receiver of what they have created to be shown to us it needs to be consistent just imagine you're invited to someone's place and they give you like a full italian meal it's very authentic very true to italian food you're having the pasta you know the white sauce one the flavors in that are very subtle they don't put a lot of you know mirch masala and you're eating it and you're enjoying it and suddenly out of nowhere there's chicken tikka masala in it yes it ruins the experience if you are someone who will enjoy that uh, But you know, let's move on. Let's go to the ending, which I kind of like. I found it very fascinating. You know, the way that gold coin or ornament was used, the song that plays later, which also played at the start of the film. And in a way, you know, it brings together the whole film and you wonder, you know, do we really know people around us? We call them our best friends, our family, but do we really know what's going on in their head? And the song was all about, you know, how money is a double-edged sword. It can give you life as well as kill you. Technically, the film was really good. Coming to the cast, everyone did a good job. I really like the subtle performance. performance of Vichu Menon and Vinay Srinivasan it was a full flip from Mukundan which i recently saw i did feel aparna balamurli was wasted like there was literally nothing there were barely five scenes for her and she just stood still of course that was important but you want more from her now i didn't try to go in too many details because we'll be doing a spoiler live stream to join us here we'll be talking about thankam as well as mukundan unni and if you haven't seen my mukundan unni review you can check it out here do let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like this is the thumbs up button and i'll see you next time